everyone keeps asking me, what is blue architecture? It's a sub-niche of green architecture concerned with water infrastructure in the built environment. So when I design projects through the blue lens, I'm paying attention to what the precipitation is in that zip code from the sky. And every drop that lands on either the solid roofs, the green living roofs, the pavement where the vehicles are, or the landscape earth planted areas, all of that gets collected, filtered separately, stored separately with appropriate pipe labeling. About 10% of the water we use needs to be potable. That's the part that touches our bodies or goes in our mouths. Everything else doesn't need to be filtered to potable quality. And we use that other 90% of our water for cleaning, flushing the toilet, and irrigating. Once we use any water and it goes down a drain, we can collect all of it, either as gray water, which is everything but the toilet, or as black water. So we'll upcycle the black water to gray water quality and then all of that can be used as irrigation that's delivered eight inches below the soil. That's generally what water collection is.